what's up guys? Today we are going to do a muffler delete on uh, Matthew's 5-0. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, so um, what is it? Tell us tell us what your car is. It's a slow thing. A slow thing. Alright, it's a 2014 GT California Special. Right there, got the body kit. He's got these wheels on it. Look at that, pretty. I didn't pull it in all the way because my Subaru's been leaking, so I don't want to be laying on that. You see her sitting out there. We got a guy working on our house right now, whatever. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take his muffler off, and we're going to do like a little before and after, see how much it uh, affects it and whatnot. And set you guys up on the tripod, and we're going to going to get a little before rev with it in the garage, so it's going to echo a lot. And uh, pardon the mess, that's my sister. She's uh remodeling or whatever i don't know what she's doing but it looks like trash so um now we're gonna start it we're gonna see what this baby sounds like stock jacked up now and um, I cleaned off the oil a little bit so we don't got to worry about that and now if we get under the car you can see there is a, a muffler clamp there and a muffler clamp right there and we're gonna take these two little puppies off you know I hate dealing with these Mustang hangers because they're a pain but you know it's whatever I might let it cool down a bit because this baby's hot because he just got done revving it you know G Ford but uh we're gonna take those off and lower it down after we take the clamps off too and uh so it's just gonna end right there so let's do that now you see 13 13 millimeter fuck i just fucking like burnt my fucking hand yeah, dude. Ew, look, it says Ford. There's your problem. There's your problem. It's made by Ford. So this is like a brand new Mustang. And uh, he's got all this like rust. It's like not bad rust. It's like a nice smooth JDM type rust. Like the ones people put on their like civics and crap but you know it's still kind of weird how it got this rusty this fast and we live in texas and like not even in galveston we like live in houston so it's kind of weird that it has this much rust already and it i don't like understand why ford would not make this put some like rust-oleum coating on it or whatever but uh, i don't know if it's just his like if he has some problem like you can get like a refund or something but it's still kind of crazy it goes all the way down the drive shaft all the way into the transmission down there and the whole rear diff and steering knuckle and shit is all messed up but we got the bolts off but it's just too hot right now to try to wiggle it out we have the uh, muffler clamp right there to take off and the one right there to take off and then we can drop these puppies and uh hear it roar hear it roar bruh it's completely disconnected like i can stick my finger all the way up the hole Ooh. to the to the motor, but um, I want to. I don't know if I want to take it completely off. If I'm able to get the pipe to like go to the side and to where it just goes straight down and avoids the muffler, I'm gonna do that. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to or not because these Mustang exhausts have to be like perfect. Oh, get it sideways. All right, there we go. All right, so as you can see. Uh, what I did here is uh, I disconnected it from right there and I moved this baby over to where, I mean, this is not a permanent solution at all. We're just doing it simply to hear what it sounds like. Uh, all I had to do was take out that muffler clamp and just uh, take that little baby out and uh, I pushed it back a little bit and lifted it up to where, so now when we start it, it'll just come out right there and uh, just shoot onto the ground. And if you want to do this permanently, I'm assuming what you do is you just take this off and then you might have to weld some type of thing so this doesn't rattle because you can see they make these flat right there so it doesn't hit this but um 
I'm gonna do it to the other side now and uh, then it can start it up and be as simple as that see how loud it is all right so you see this muffler clamp right here all I'm doing is I'm pushing the muffler all the way to the side and I'm prying it off with my thumb and then this drops down and now what I'm gonna have to do is wiggle it to get it completely loose this connection right here And if you look under here, uh, I, I have this side open and now I just got to wiggle it a little more. And then that is coming completely out now, so uh, it's not going to be perfect. It might rattle a little bit just because of how it's sitting, but it's the muffler is completely off. It's not going to go through it at all and it's just going to exit right here and that one's just going to exit right there. So uh, now we can get a little sound shot of it. Ready? Yeah, whenever you are. He's got some pops. Got some little pops on there. How much is that Remy? Like how high did you go? Uh, Five thousand. On a I'll take a video of the video here. Dude, on a cold start, I want to know how loud that would be. See, it just ends right there. sure a lot of Mustangs sound like this but it's just nice hearing it in person it doesn't drone that much like at idle it, you can hear the cam and it's really nice and then when you rev it it's like it only gets brutal at higher rpm let me turn the air down I don't know how the fuck to use this car we're trying to do there we go so I can talk turn it off I don't know how the oh, fuck but... I don't know what the fuck I did so whenever you're driving, you're at 2,000, you can't even hear it, three, so whenever you're driving, and it's not going to drone that much, so like it's not even that bad, my Subaru for instance, I have it practically straight piped and it's freaking insanely loud, it's the EJ22, you can see it on my channel. And then my, B, my BMW 318 E36, everything. But um, that's what it sounds like with the muffler to leave. Just really simple to do, just to hear it. And if I wanted to, I could take the muffler completely off. I just have to slide the two pins back. Let me show you that. There's the, see the hanger right there? Two hangers. I could slide it back, but there's not enough room. But the exhaust is just ending right there. So uh, now, probably just gonna put it back on just he just wanted to hear what it sounded like in general so now I'll just tip this up slide it back on tip that up slide it back on and just put that on so this is a really easy thing to do it took me like what 10 minutes yeah. with axle back coming soon. yeah axle back coming soon shit So Matthew wants to uh, go on an actual drive and hear what it sounds like, just so he knows if you, because the, ax the axle back's like 300 bucks. So I went ahead and took the muffler off. I'm working on this one right now. To take the muffler off, um, I can't slide it back far enough to get out of the hanger, so I'm taking the hanger off. There's a bolt right there, a bolt on the side, and then another bolt all the way down there. I can show you on here. This is the uh, top bolt whatever and then the side bolt there's three of them they're 13 millimeters the same or the same size as the uh whatever i only use metric because i'm a jdm fanboy and uh i don't like using sae because i don't like fractions so but uh 
I'm getting these bolts off right now. We're gonna go on a little test ride. You can hear a rolling shot right now. So I'm gonna get this one off and then you're gonna hear what it sounds like when we're actually driving. So we got both mufflers off. These are all the bolts for it. Nuts and bolts, or not nuts, but you know what I mean. And so it turns out the driver's side muffler is held on by three bolts and the passenger side is held on by two. You can see the one bolt, two bolt, three bolt, and then this one's just the one bolt, two bolt. I found that out because it freaking fell on my neck after I got it off. But uh, I'm going to lower it down and we're going to go get some rolling sound shots, a drive-by, whatever. Get my uh, suction cup mount on my other camera so it's not going to be as good as quality, but I'll be able to get a rolling shot. So uh, let's go do that. God dang, that's freaking insane. All right. <laughs> what type of burnout was <laughs> that? Your front wheels are skidding. Your front wheels are just going forward. I know. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, mate. <laughs> do it, bro, do it. I'm not putting shit before. No E85. Did you even say no E85? Yeah, it says no e Go fuck. One day, bro. One day.